Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about rabies. Like my previous videos, I am going to use mind mapping for rabies. Now we will see about rabies in a nutshell through the help of mind map. So the agent factor for rabies is the Lysa virus type 1 bullet shaped neurotropic RNA virus belonging to the family Rhabdoviridae. And there are two types of rabies virus, uh, street virus which is pathogenic for the human beings and another one is fixed virus. The brain to brain passage of the street virus in the rabbit modifies the virus such that its incubation period is progressively reduced until it becomes constant. So that is the fixed virus. So this fixed virus strain is usually used in vaccine production for rabies. What is the source of infection? The saliva of rabid animals is the source of infection. What is the host for rabies? Usually man is the dead end host for rabies and usually the people in the age group of 1 to 24 years are the common victims of rabies. What is the mode of transmission? Dogs are the main host and the transmitter of rabies and uh, the transmission happens by direct contact of the infected saliva with human mucosa because of the dog bite. What is the incubation period? It is 1 to 3 months following the exposure but may vary from 7 days to many years. In short, it depends upon the site of bite. Suppose the dog bites in the face, head, neck and the upper extremities, you can get rabies uh, in a shorter incubation time. Now, what is the pathogenesis? The, uh, uh, at the site of bite, the rabies virus enters the nerve endings and via the peripheral nerves, it uh, slowly ascends to the central nervous system. So, this is the ascending type of infection in rabies and uh, gradually all the nerves are affected and what is the clinical picture of rabies mostly the patients present with characteristic features such as hydrophobia aversion for water aerophobia aversion for air noise bright light even cold air will stimulate the sensory fibers leading on to severe shock for the patient and then the patient will really get scared of swallowing any liquid and it will provoke severe spasm of the muscles of the deglutition and the patient will die within 2 to 3 days or at the maximum the patient can live only up to 5 to 6 days. So how to diagnose the rabies infection? It is by antigen deduction. Mostly patient will not survive to detect the antibody. So the diagnosis is by antigen deduction by immunofluorescence or skin biopsy. What is the treatment? The main treatment is isolation of the patient in a quiet room so that there is no light, noise or cold air. And second thing is relieving the anxiety and pain by using sedatives such as morphine. If there is spastic muscular contractions of the throat and other parts of the body, then we use drugs like curer like action. Then uh, we have to ensure adequate hydration and diuresis and we are the respiratory and cardiac support in the form of intensive nursing care. That is the mainstay of treatment here and uh, suppose luckily if the patient after receiving immunoglobulin and vaccination, if he is given appropriate respiratory and cardiovascular care, rarely he may survive but the chance of survival is really really very less, very rare. So in public health point of view, this is the most important part. Rabies is one among those rare infections where we give post exposure prophylaxis. That is, we give the vaccine, we give after the bite has occurred, after the disease has occurred. So what is the purpose of immunoglobulin here? The main purpose is to neutralize the inoculated virus before it enters the nervous system. We use the immunoglobulin to neutralize the virus. And second thing is local treatment is very important, cleaning the wound with the soap and water uh, under the running tap water for at least 15 minutes and then we should never suture uh, the area. Uh, if needed, maybe suturing can be done 24 to 48 hours later. And then chemical treatment, we have to, we can use virucidal agents uh, like uh, alcohol or tincture iodine or povidone iodine we can use. And then antibiotics and anti tetanus measures we have to do. And the third thing is, the most important thing is immunization. In immunization, there is purified cell culture vaccine and then cell culture and embryo embryonated egg based vaccine, CCV and CCEV. The, how the vaccine is given? Either it can be given intramuscularly or it can be given intradermally. Uh, in intramuscular modes of uh, uh, vaccination, there are two methods, uh, two regimens. One is SN regimen, other one is Jagra regimen. See, this is SN regimen. In SN regimen, 
then uh, how many doses we give 0 3 7 and 14 uh, so we give uh, five visits the patient has to do and then we give five doses so how much uh, vaccine we have to give 1 ml into the deltoid or into anterolateral area of the thigh in case of children so we have to give 1 ml so five doses five visits next is jagrab schedule see in jagrab schedule uh, we give 2 1 1 See that means the patient will come only for 3 visits that is 0, 7 and 21 today. So only 3 visits he will come. But we will use 4 vials because during the first visit we give 2 times the vaccine. During the second visit we give 1 time. During the third visit we give 1 time. And this is the intradermal regimen for post exposure prophylaxis. Here we are not giving IM but we are giving ID intradermally. So how much dose we are giving? Only 0.1 ml per site we are giving. So how many days the patient has to visit? 0, 3, 7 and 28. So 4 days the patient will visit. And uh, how many doses? Every time we give 2 times. 2, 2, 2. 8 sites we used to give the injection. So this is the uh, Vero cell vaccine, Vero rad vaccine which we are using in our uh, primary health centers. Inactivated purified Vero cell rabies vaccine. Another type of uh, vaccine that is available is Rabipur. This is a purified chick embryo vaccine chick embryo cell vaccine which is given for uh, rabies so if you find my video useful kindly press that like button below this video and subscribe my channel community medicine made easy thank you